Welcome back to BadgerAndBlade.com. In our continuing series of new member tutorials, today this video will show how to post a picture and the options you have for doing so. We've started out on our main forum page and you should be logged in. And if you remember from our previous videos, we do have a post testing area that we'll be doing all of our work in for this video. We'll get back to that in just a few seconds. But first, we want to go over the three options that you have for posting pictures. One is directly from your hard drive. Basically, you would just attach a picture, which we will illustrate. The second is to have a third-party hosting service as a cloud-type system for your pictures. This would be Imgur, Picasa, or the multitude of other ones that are out there. However, the most reliable and the one that will keep your picture in the post without being deleted is by loading your picture up into your own gallery here on Badger and Blade. Now, go to the Settings button on the top right-hand side, click on that, and that'll take us to your personal settings. Now if you remember once again from the previous video, we actually loaded a picture into our gallery. So on the left hand side of the screen, click on the Your Photos and Albums, and that will take you to your gallery. Now once again, as we said, these pictures do become property of Badger and Blade. However, they are in a safe, secure location, which means when you're surfing through your posts later on or a few years later, there's no chance that your picture will be deleted. However, with the third-party services or even your hard drive, if for whatever reason you lose your hard drive or you stop your account on one of those third-party services, the system will not have a reference point for your picture. And what you'll do is you'll see a thing that says the picture has been removed. However, this is the most reliable way. Just know that you do have those other options, which we'll go over as well. So once you get to your gallery, your test photo, click on that. Now that's going to give you a full size image of your photo. Now, on the right hand side, you will see various different information about when it was taken, the category that it's in, the dimensions, as well as the camera information, which is very nice if you want to have that for other posts, such as in our darkroom. However, the main part that you want to look at is the codes. You have the BNB image code, the direct link code, and then the BNB image code for a larger image. For this purpose, we're going to use the direct link code. So what you want to do is highlight that, right click, and copy. Once you're done there, go back out to the main forum page. And a lot of folks will actually have two versions of Badger and Blade open so they can flip back and forth. We'll go back down to the post testing area and click on that and then once we get into that post testing area we're going to go into one of the previous posts that we did on our last video so new member test post for video we will click on that and instead of creating a new thread we are just going to reply to that specific thread and it's very easy hit quick reply we'll type in test photo and you're ready to post now, on the top hand side of your outline, you can see this button right here that says insert image. Click on that and you'll see from computer or from URL. Now, if you're going to upload a picture from your computer, you would just highlight that box. It will say browse, browse your hard drive for the picture that you want to post and then you'll hit upload file and then your picture will actually show up in the thread and we'll show that in just a few seconds so from the URL which is what we copied from your gallery page you'll just type in or right click rather hit paste and there's the URL now you're going to want to uncheck the retrieve remote file and reference locally because it will not recognize the file so once you do that hit OK post quick reply and there's your picture now you'll notice it does say badgerandblade.com. However, this picture will be here and you won't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's look at posting a picture from your hard drive. So we're just gonna go to the quick reply again and we're gonna put post from computer. Once you do that, once again, come over to the insert image, click on that and hit from computer. And when you hit browse, it'll take you into your hard drive. Now we're just going to pick one of my shave of the day photos just uh, so we can see it. And we'll go ahead and pick that one. Hit open. It'll load the title 
of the picture that you have in your hard drive and hit upload file. Now these pictures that I have on my hard drive are fairly large so it will take just a few moments. Now you'll see a small representation of your picture. Hit post quick reply and there's your picture. Now if you want to use one of the third party services that are out there obviously once you have an account there now we are going to be using Imgur. Now the good part about posting from one of those sites is your original pixelation and your original resolution will be intact. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab. I am going to go to my Imgur page. I'm going to sign in. And then I'm going to go to my pictures. Now the beauty of some of these is that you can actually use pictures at different sizes while you're doing so. So if you want the original size image, a small square, big square, small thumbnail, medium thumbnail, or a large thumbnail. For these purposes, I'm going to use a medium thumbnail. So it'll resize the picture for you. All you need to do is come up to the direct link, copy it, go back to badgerandblade.com, hit the quick reply, once again hit insert image, once again from URL, right click, paste, uncheck the retrieve remote file and hit OK. That will put your file into a small thumbnail so to speak and then you can type in anything you want to say about the photo. So I'm just going to put another photo for tutorial video if I could spell. Then hit post quick reply. And that's all there is to it as far as uploading images in different sizes, different formats, and so forth. However, we do recommend the first way by loading the picture into your gallery and then linking it to your post. We'll go back out to the main forum, and we thank you for watching on how to post a photo to your threads. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.